Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. I'm going to ask you something today, Mr. Magazine. And we're going to be giving away some stuff for free to people. Wow. Yep, some great advice. <laughs> All right. Free advice is good, yeah. What? Don't, don't accept rides from three-legged camels. All right. I was going to say, never bet on a horse named Glue Factory. But that's a whole other story. Um, what is the secret... <clears throat> To being successful, long tail. Well, I'm going to say patience for one. That that's a good know, answer. Yeah. That's patience a good answer. Patience and long, they, they're like you know they go right together. But um, being determined, having goals, you know, um, working hard, all of, all of that uh, is a you know a recipe for success down the road. To anybody who's newer to the channel or newer to reselling, mm -hmm. long tail basically means you. Pick up items that the sell-through rate is less than stellar. I think that would be a good way to put it. Yes. Um, and if you watch our uh, Bolo videos every Saturday, um, uh, from time to time, I'll bring up an item that I've had up since 2012, occasionally 2008, sometimes 2015, and so on. And these are things that have been sitting there, you know, seven years, eight years, 10 years, 12 years sometimes in some cases. I mean, at times 15 years, mm -hmm. something that's been sitting there. That would be the definition of a long tail item. It took a long time to find the proper uh, house, uh, proper person to buy it and bring it to their house. Um, it's completely different because you tie up your money for quite a while. Sure. However, you can be rather successful at it, but the key is you got to buy low. Uh, because if, if I'm going to be selling something in 2035, so 12 years from now, for $25, I can't pay $15 for it now. I gotta pay 50 cents for it now, or a quarter exactly. for yep. it now. You exactly. just absolutely have to, yep. um, in, just because of the time you frame. You go broke, the way we buy it too. You go broke buying big collections at a higher percentage, forget about it. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely, you, you absolutely would. But the real secret to it is you need to get you need to buy a lot of stuff pay very low on the stuff and get the stuff listed quickly and some of the stuff listed quickly anyway i mean obviously if i'm picking up a thousand items for a hundred dollars i got a dime a, pe a dime a piece into them i don't have to get all thousand listed right. but the goal is to be able to get enough stuff listed that you can get your hundred bucks back out of it and maybe even a little bit of profit allowing for everything you get right. 250 bucks back out of 10 items that sell right right and you listed 100 out of those thousand items now you're ahead of the game yeah. and you've got your money back now you can reinvest that hundred dollars back and you just keep doing that and doing that and meanwhile that collection that i just bought today i sell a few items for uh, from next month and a right. few items the next month and meanwhile i'm also selling items from other collection other collection other collection and that's really what the whole secret as it were of long tail is well and i think you got two options too when you're dealing with these collections say you buy a thousand pieces for a hundred bucks mm -hmm. two options you can go well i got 10 easy ten dollar sales boom you get them on you get your money back or i got two fifty dollar pieces let me get the best ones on and get your money back so it depends on how backed up you are you know if you're not backed up you'd probably put the ten ten dollar items on boom get your money back but if you feel overwhelmed you got to get your money back quicker and you got another collection coming in you know, sometimes we, you know, I'm different than you. I might put those two fifty dollar ones on. At least I got my money. I'm out of it in a week. These other ones will get on eventually. You know, but then they build up. Or like you do a lot of times, you'll put the the ten or twenty cheaper items on that are going to sell quicker. So you got two options mainly. Is the way I look at it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But but again, the the real key. I mean, obviously you've got to have some level of of space available also, uh, because just the buying is so much easier than the selling. And if you're picking up a thousand items for a hundred dollars and you're doing that every few months and you're only selling 20 30 40 items out of that uh yeah. in a fair in a fairly quick amount of time it starts building up backing up building up backing up and you need a lot of space in order to store things um but again it's a winning formula long term mm -hmm. there is no way if you if you kind of know what you're doing you don't even have to know what you're doing kind of know what you're doing if you're paying a dime an item or 15 cents an item on items that sell for $10 a piece, you're going to make money. Yep. As long as you get them listed, you will make money. So that's the positive side of it. Um, that being said, long tail's not for everybody. I know a lot of people out there, they start panicking if something hasn't sold in a couple of months. 
And if I see something selling in a couple of months, I go, well, that was a pretty good deal. Right. That was a pretty hot item I had over there. <laughs> Can't believe it sold in just three months. Well, sometimes six months or a year <laughs> might be exciting too, yeah. Um, so it's a whole different mindset. And I would have difficulty um, going the short, the short tail version just because I'd be saying, how much money am I leaving on the table? Now there is a little bit of a difference with whatnot. I do go short term, but one of the reasons why with that is um, sometimes it's things that I specifically buy for whatnot. So if I specifically buy something and I pay a dollar for it, I'm fine selling it at three bucks because right. it's nothing that I think is worth you know $50 or $100. Sure. Yeah, I think it might be worth $15, $20. Hey, I'm happy to sell it for three, some, maybe five, seven, whatever it is, mm-hmm. to move it on out and leave money, you know, leave money there for other people, certainly. Um, so that's a little bit different, but if I'm buying specifically to sell in that venue, it's a whole different story than if I'm buying a big collection that I want to list on, on eBay. Right. You know, cause then, I, then I'd be saying, oh my gosh, I'm leaving so much money on the, you know, out there on it. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Um, I do I do feel the long tail is a, is a winning strategy, uh, but you have to you have to be in the right mindset to be able to do it. And you right. can't sit there and panic if something doesn't sell in the first month because it's few and far between things that do sell in the first month. And that's just, you know, that's hence the term long tail. Yeah. So if you could hit the uh, like button, we would definitely appreciate that. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.